The X-ray tube works like a vacuum and consists of two different areas called the anode and cathode. The anode is the positive end of the tube and the cathode is the negative. The anode includes a target and an induction motor, which functions inside and outside of the tubing. What is an induction motor? An induction motor is an electric motor in which the shaft is rotated through mutual induction. Mutual induction is where the magnetic field generated by a coil of two wire induces voltage in an adjacent coil of wire. There are two designs for the anode. One is stationary and the other is rotating. The stationary anode is a target that does not move. The rotating anode rapidly rotates to avoid local heat buildup from electron impact during X-ray generation. And what exactly hits the target in the anode? The cathode, which is the negative end of the tube and provides the source of electrons needed for x-ray production. The cathode is made up of filaments in the focusing cup and connected to two different parts of the x-ray circuit. Most general purpose tubes have two filaments and are referred to as dual focus tubes. Filaments are connected to the filament circuit and focusing cup is connected to the secondary circuit. Filaments are represented by the large and small focal spot options on the operating system. Each filament is a coil of wire usually 7 to 15 millimeters long and 1 to 2 millimeters wide. They are usually made of tungsten with 1 to 2 percent thorium added. Tungsten is also used here because it has a very high melting point and does not vaporize easily. Is that when the exposure is made? Yes, that's what we know as thermionic emission. Well, I know emission means like exit. Is this when I get hit with radiation? Bingo. The focusing cup is made of nickel and surrounds each filament on its back and sides, leaving the front open and facing the anode target. The focusing cup receives a strong negative charge from the secondary circuit that forces the electrons together into a cloud as they are boiled off of the filament. The negative charge is greater than the negative charges of the electrons and forces them together. Electrons are then boiled off from the filament. The focusing cup forms them into a cl cloud. This cloud is referred to as a space charge. Once the space charge reaches a size commensurate with the current used, it makes it difficult for additional electrons to be emitted. Wow, so all of that is very interesting. Yep, and now we're ready to take your exit. Breathe out, hold it, and you're done.